everyone. No? So right now we are here at Christchurch, New Zealand. It's already 7 a.m. No? Pero sa Pilipinas nasa mga 2 a.m. pa lang. So makikita nyo dito napakaliwanag. No? Sa Pilipinas time natin it's already 2 a.m. At ang magaganda dito is uh, I'm ordinary person, no? dating merchandiser, experience, extraordinary life ka. Tulad dito, uh, nasa New Zealand kami. So itong New Zealand isa sa mga top no? countries of the whole world. At the same time, uh, ito ko ma-experience ngayon at ma-witness na yung produkto ng Santi Barley is meron talaga siyang farm na dito sa New Zealand. Okay, uh, later pupunta kami doon sa farm, uh, video kami ulit, mag-Facebook Live kami para mapakita natin sa mga buong distributor or business owners around the world, especially sa Pilipinas, na meron tayong sariling farm dito sa New Zealand. At the same time, ang uh, napakaganda dyan is organic yung produkto natin. Okay, so by the way, ako pala si Jan Likayan. Don't forget to subscribe our channel at YouTube. Okay, uh, thank you so much for your time to watch this video. We're going now. Bila, tingnan natin mga partners na uh, yan ay makikita nyo is wala pang, ano, wala pang barley no? tataniman pa nila para in the matters of two weeks tutubo na yung barley natin baby barley na siya ayan mayong buntag sa tanan niya sa mga bisaya around the Philippines and around the whole world kung maghahanap kayo ng, ng pure barley no? dapat ang pangitaon na to, yung may tatak na Santi Barley kasi ako mismo no, na na-witness ko, napuntahan ko dito sa New Zealand at, at nakita ko na talaga na meron talagang certified organic yung produkto natin may sariling farm At the same time, uh, nakikita ko paano nila pinanim, paano nila hinarvest yung barley natin. At the same time, nakita ko manufacturer dito sa New Zealand kung paano nila pinawderize yung pure barley natin. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, dapat yung may tatak na sa ni barley kasi the best barley in the world no? na para sa akin kasi may farm. No, certified organic at hindi lang yan almost 35 years na sila nagtatanim ng pure barley sa New Zealand kaya yung produkto na iinumin ninyo na may tatak sa di barley uh, para sa akin is very quality talaga siya okay napakaganda it's good morning no so dito na kami ngayon papunta sa barley girls natin na uh, after BB barley papunta kami ngayon sa young organic barley grass no, makikita niyo hindi dito ngayon ano siya kalaki so dito kami ulit ngayon sa farm ng New Zealand ipapakita ko sa inyo kung saan dito yung na-harvest na the same time yung hindi pa na-harvest Okay, so dito ang kabila na side, dito yung na-harvest na kahapon. No, so, kunti na lang yung mga barley at nakikita nyo may mga edge sa gitna. Dito sa kabila, ito yung mga hindi pa na-harvest. No, so, yan. Yung barley natin, certified organic from New Zealand. Ayan, so, pag mag harvest sila, hindi lahat ano, uh, mapupuputol. Hindi lahat ma-harvest kasi dapat may maitira. Kasi yung barley natin is yung young organic barley. So mga ilang inches lang, yun yung iha-harvest. Okay, para nandun kasi yung high quality ng product natin. Yan, ito yung mga na-harvest na. Sa kabila, hindi pa na-harvest. Ito yung barley grass natin, no? ito yung in-harvest. Yan, kung makikita nyo, damong-damo talaga, pure no? yung barley natin. Dito sa New Zealand. kita ko sa inyo na fresh 
at saka maganda itong product this time safe kakainin ko to mm. sarap fresh talaga amoy damo pa oh mm. sarap kaya kayo uh, punta kayo dito sa New Zealand para ma-witness niyo talaga na kung gaano kaganda yung barley natin no na purong purong puro talaga yung barley natin dito sa New Zealand yeah. mm. ang sarap Yan, nag-harvest na yung ano natin no? Harvester natin ng barley important things that they're doing um, they don't obviously they don't want to uh, because there are there are good bugs and all sorts of bugs in the soil they want to cut above above that and they don't want to disturb the soil when they're when they're harvesting if the wet if it gets too wet uh, and bits of dirt fly up onto the barley then you can get you can get bugs and, and deteriorate the quality of it so um, there's a lot of important stuff about the way that they harvest and the time and the time of day and all that. There's uh, no second harvest, right? Sometimes yes. there is. Uh -huh. If, if this, this, the, the crop come, can come away again and it'll go oh. there and they can take another yeah. lot. Yeah. But uh, they will be harvesting about, uh, well sometimes this, they might get one ton of barley powder wow. per hectare. Wow. So this, if they did, I don't think this will harvest one ton. It might harvest probably, perhaps 700, 700 kilos per hectare. So from these three hectares, they might get 2.1 ton of barley powder. So you put that into three gram sachets. That's quite a lot, I think. But you see, they take, they're taking 10, they'll take, um, to get that, um, to get that, uh, three grams. That, so if they got that one ton, they would harvest ten ton of wet to get one ton of dry. Wet. So this is wet. So they'll they'll take ten. That that can carry three point five ton of of leaf in the back of it before it goes to the dryer. From there you can eat that. That was nice. Yeah. That you was can green. eat that.
at certain times of the day, the bricks level is higher than other times. So there's, there's more, the, the, so it's sweeter basically. So we're, we're thinking about uh, being able to uh, test for the, the bricks level and harvest a bit around the bricks level so that we're not only getting a super green product, because the more green this is, there's more chlorophyll in it, right? But also if you've got the bricks, it's high, it's sweeter. Uh, I've, I've eaten so much uh, barley powder in my life that I could almost tell you where it comes from. And I can certainly tell uh, a, a barley powder that's got high bricks in it. Um, but basically, because this is an organic process, it's just cut and dried and nothing else. Yeah. Nothing in it. That's it. Very organic. Yeah, very organic. So, um, yeah. So I'm really trying to show you that there's quite a lot of science in behind this. A lot of science. Uh, here, out, out here in the barley fields. Um, I think Bernie's going to go around again. He might come back down here again and get some more shots. Um, and then we will be going to have a look at the unloading of uh, the, grass. Of, grass. Of the so barley grass. To the manufacturing plant will have a look at, at where it's unloaded.